What's up everybody? Welcome to today's vlog. I am on my way to Home Depot once again. I know I've been there like 50 times in the past few days, but um, I need to return that, uh, that, that LED light strip that I got the other day. Uh, it appears that it has already been used. So what I bought was probably a return because it's, you, can cut the, you can cut it every four inches to kind of customize it and it's already been cut and some of the sticky paper on the back has already been removed. So it's very clear that it's been used already and I need the, the strips to be fully intact. So uh, having one cut is not going to work for me. So I'm going to exchange that, hopefully get another one that has not been used. And then I also took a bunch of measurements this morning for another custom shelf in the game room and I'm going to be hopefully buying the wood for that as well. Um, and hopefully I can, I can finish that today as well. It's not, it's not that much work. I'm not gonna paint it or anything. Um, so it, I should be able to finish the shelf today as well. But I kind of figured, you know, we might be loading stuff into the game store as early as tomorrow. I still haven't heard anything. But if we do, then I'm not gonna have time to build that custom shelf for the game room till who knows when. So I wanted to make sure that I try and get that done because I'm really running out of space in there and that new shelf would really help with that. So headed to Home Depot now and I'm gonna try and get all that stuff. Got the guy here at Home Depot helping me cut the boards, which is gonna be awesome. He's gonna be doing it right back there. Um, so that's gonna save me a ton of time because I have, you know, I have that circular saw, but um, he can cut multiple boards at once with this machine and I have to have 14 shelves. So he's gonna make quick work of that for me. I left my parents' house and my dad gave me a bunch of brackets, so he was able to help me save some money uh, on that shelf, which is awesome. And then, um, I don't know if you guys can see, I have this little white bump right here. It's really kind of hard to see on, on the camera, but um, it kind of just like appeared overnight. And I usually don't get cold sores. I don't think I've had a cold sore since I was a little kid, but I do get canker sores sometimes. And my mom seems to think that it's probably that Usually they're on the inside of my mouth. This one's a little on the outside, but, um, so I just stopped at Walgreens and picked up some of this stuff that will hopefully take care of it. Both my parents seem to think that it was like the best thing ever. So it was expensive, so hopefully it's worth it. Uh, my mom had a little bit of like the knockoff brand stuff that I was able to put on there and it seemed to help a little bit already because I can't really see it on camera, but when I opened my phone earlier to look at it, I could, so. Hopefully it goes away. It is, it's not super painful. It's a little embarrassing. It's a little gross looking, but uh, it only really hurts if like I push on it or something. So as long as I don't do that, I'm not really in any pain, but I would like it to go away. So now I'm headed back home. I got everything I need to finish up the kiosk and to finish up these new shelves that I'm gonna be building today. Um, I'm not going to be painting the shelves. I'm not gonna put a backing on them. So they're not gonna be as like, high quality as the other ones that I've done, simply because I don't have the time, um, especially if we start loading stuff into the game store tomorrow, then I will never have time to do them. So <laughs> I wanna get them done now. And in order to do that, they just have to be unpainted basically, but they're still gonna work good. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to have enough room to put everything. So I should be home in just a few minutes. I'm gonna finish the kiosk first and finish up that video, then work on the shelves. Abby's parents aren't here and Abby is sleeping. And so the dogs have been, wait, I think they, they put the big dogs in the bathroom and then the other little two dogs go in the office when they're gone because some of them like to chew stuff up and things like that, but no one's home. So I got to let them all out. So you can officially meet everyone. This is Azula. Hi. She's supposed to be an indoor cat because We've seen lots of like dead cats and stuff on the side of the road, but she was an outdoor cat before that. So we couldn't really keep her in. So we got this like clothesline going across with this leash on it. So she can't get around to like the front yard. So she comes out and she's on the leash. This is Dottie, little baby. Not a baby, she's fully grown. This is Hope, which you guys have seen before. We did good girl, you good girl. And this is Homer, of course. And then, 
Penny? Well, there's another one. Dottie's sister. There she is. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Come on. Outside. And then chickens are back there. There's Daisy. And Charlie's back there in the pasture somewhere. I let them out to use the bathroom and everything, and I'll probably give them like 10 or 15 minutes out here, and then they'll have to go back inside because I'm not going to be out here. But I'm going to finish up the kiosk, get the lights on there, get the controllers set up properly, and then that'll be done. So that'll be really, really awesome. I'm going to be able to finish that video, and you guys should be seeing that one tonight. Um, possibly tomorrow. Um, my upload schedule is a little weird. Uh, usually what I like to do is edit my vlogs as soon as I'm done filming them, like I film the outro and I start editing in with, within like two minutes. Then I export the video and then what I like to do is upload it um, the night before so that in the morning all I have to do is do the end card things and like the all that kind of stuff and then it's ready to go and it goes live at about 12.30. But what I've been doing recently is I've been editing it and exporting it and then going to bed so I don't get to upload it until the next day, which is why a lot of the vlogs haven't been coming out at 12.30. They've been coming out at 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., something like that. So if the vlog comes out at 12.30, then I'll make the kiosk video come out at 5 p.m. so that there's a little, you know, there's a little time for the vlog to get some traction. Um, if the vlog ends up coming out later, then... I will probably have the kiosk video come out the next day. Um, so we'll just see what happens, but you guys will be seeing that either tonight or tomorrow. So I hope you're really excited for that. It's going to be a really, really cool video. And I'm going to use the 4K camera to get some footage of the vlog or some footage of the kiosk completely finished. So you guys can see it in like full, you know, 4K HD and it'll look really, really cool. So I'm excited about that. Hope you guys are as well. And now I'm going to get to work on it. For some reason, I was thinking it was Sunday, but it's Saturday, and I just got a notification delivery for a video game that I bought off eBay with my eBay bucks, so let's go check the mail. So here's the box that I got. I'm covering up the address. I haven't opened it yet, though. It's nothing super special. <laughs> Madden 2000 for the N64. I think this is the last Madden that I didn't have for the system, but I had eBay bucks to spend, so I figured I would get this. And so I think after the eBay bucks, I think I paid like two dollars, 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 dollars. So got a complete copy of Madden 2000. Bottom is a little crushed, but overall not in bad condition. And it should be fully complete. Might be difficult to get it all with one hand, but yeah, it looks like it's all in there. So. Nothing super special, but I had the eBay bucks to spend, and whenever I have enough like that, I usually like to try and get something for my N64 collection because I avoid eBay most of the time, but when it's eBay bucks, it's basically free. So, awesome game to add to the collection. The kiosk is completely done. I'm so freaking happy with it. I'm really, really excited for you guys to see the video. Uh, I just took the final clips, and very, very awesome. So that video will either be up the same day you're seeing this one or the next day. Still not sure. I won't really know until really late tonight. Um, so just look out for it. If you don't want to miss it, make sure you hit that notification bell underneath the video. Uh, that, that will notify you so that whenever I upload a video, you'll get like an email or something. It's not super annoying. And so if you want to make sure you don't miss a video, that is the way to do it. Hit that bell. Of course, subscribe if you're not. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go downstairs, work in the game room, and start putting together my custom shelving unit because for some reason I like to be 100% busy and I start another project as soon as I finish the first one, I guess, but I'm really excited about those shelves too. I really need the space, so that's gonna be good, but I'm done out here in the garage. All right, guys, we are warping through the night a little bit. I actually took a nap and Abby has already left for work. Um, I was just super hot and super tired from working out in the shop all day, so didn't want to take a nap, but it happened. Um, but I'm in the game room now. I'm about to take everything off of these shelves, and then I got all the wood and everything in here, which was pre-cut at Home Depot, which should save me a lot of time. Um, 
I kind of expect to have to make a few cuts myself because theirs were not super precise, but this will at least give me a huge head start, and I will be finishing this tonight. Um, I'm going to force myself to, so um, I'm going to start taking stuff down and get to work on it. I've been making progress on the shelf. I'm extremely tired, but I finally got the like the frame done, basically. It's leaning a bit right now, uh, but once I, I have to get it, attach it to the wall, so it'll, it'll even it out. But right now, like I said, it's leaning. Um, <clears throat> one of the boards was pretty badly warped, and I didn't notice that when I was buying it, because I tried to pick out ones that were straight, of course. Uh, so one of them was warped. I was able to you know, with the with the brackets and the screws, I was able to attach it pretty well. Um, also, I did my math a little bit wrong with my measurements, and so I got one of the boards about an inch too long, so I had to cut that off myself. But so far, that's the only cut I've had to make, and all the shelves are 28.5 inches, and um, I guess I did my math a little more incorrectly. Um, so the shelves, they all fit, but they're not quite long enough. Luckily, with the brackets, I can make them fit, and it's not going to be a big enough gap where, like, a game will fall down in there or anything. It's going to be a small gap like that. But still, if I had more time to devote to this project, you know, it would have come out much, much better. I would have painted them and had a backing on it and all that, but this is just being built to be functional, basically, because I'm running out of space rapidly. So I'm happy with it so far. I'm going to try and finish it the best I can tonight. All right, guys, it is much later. <laughs> I've been working on this thing nonstop, and uh, I think I was really, really tired today because I did more math wrong than I thought, and I don't even have enough shelves. <laughs> you can see that I left two off. I needed 14 shelves, and for whatever reason, I thought that I only needed 12. So I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow, get one more board, and have it cut, the only thing that is good about that, I suppose, is that I can get them cut a little bit longer so they're going to fit better. Um, this whole side here fits really well, but for some reason this whole side, the gap is much bigger. There isn't much of a gap at all on the other side, but this other side, it's almost big enough where like uh, a DVD case game could like slip down. Um, and they very well might, I'm not sure. but. I'm going to set it up and get it attached to the wall at least, so tomorrow all I have to do is attach those last two shelves towards the bottom, but I'm really excited to get it set up and see just how much stuff I'm going to be able to fit on there, because the whole reason for doing this was to create more space. These are the type of shelves that I had over there before, and when you put the games on the shelf there's like five or six inches of empty space above them. So this one is spaced out just like all my other shelves that I've built. So there is just enough room to get your finger in there and grab the game, not much else. So, um, and this is going from not floor to ceiling because I couldn't fit one more shelf accurately. So there's a little bit of empty space at the top, but it goes from wall to wall. And the other two shelves I had there left about 10 inches of empty space on the side as well. So this one has a lot more shelf space and I should be able to fit a ton more games on this. So I'm going to set it up and see how much I can fit. All right, guys, as you can see behind me, the shelf is up. And just like I predicted, there's way more space, which is awesome. Sorry about the light. There's not much I can do about that, but still need those two shelves for the bottom there. But So originally I had the two bookshelves here. And the Wii U games took up the entire bookshelf on the left. The entire bookshelf. Now they only take up four shelves on this thing. Um, the top shelf here is a little smaller than the rest. DVD style games do fit on them, but they're really, really snug. So I moved the Wii U games down and I put the Master System games up here. And then I have the Genesis over here going down. There's lots of room for expansion then 32X and Sega CD, and then Intellivision on the bottom, Sega Pico here, 
CDI, 3DO, and this weird like Microsoft Lynx game for a PDA. And then over here, Action Max, Engage, Odyssey 2, TurboGrafx 16, and Vita. Not much for most of those systems, but um, they all fit on the shelf. Obviously, there's room for expansion. And then a lot of those games came off the shelf back here. So as you can see, I was able to move a bunch off and I'll be able to shift things down and then I can get all these Xbox games that are sitting on top here back onto the shelf how they should be. So this has been a big help uh, building this shelf here, but if I, if I had the time, I would do more because I can't fit any more PS2 games, I can't fit any more PS1 games, I can't fit any more Game Boy, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advance games, and I can't fit any more GameCube games on the current shelves that I have. Um, so I do need more space, um, and there's room in here in this back room over on this side. You can see there's like a lot of empty space right here. I could build a shelf for that wall, and that would probably solve all the issues that I'm having because that is a pretty large wall right there. But it's not something that I'm thinking about doing right now just because, you know, we're opening the game store so soon and I'm not going to have time to devote to projects like this. So I'm really glad that I took the past week or so to do the GameCube kiosk and then took today to do this shelf here. Um, still got to get the other two bottom shelves for it, so it's not 100% done, but um, it'll, you know, a drive to Home Depot and back and then 10 minutes of time and it'll be completely done. Um, so I'm really glad that I took the time to actually do these instead of just sitting around doing nothing, waiting to load stuff to the game store because this is kind of like the last chance that I have to do anything like this. So I'm glad that I took advantage of that and got two projects done. Uh, this one I wasn't even planning on doing. It was, you know, just yesterday. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get the wood and do that tomorrow. So I'm really glad I did. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I uh, got a lot of stuff done. Um, the kiosk video um, will not will not be going up today. Um, I'm going to edit this vlog and then probably head to bed. I'm super tired. It's super freaking hot, and I don't want to have to edit this one and edit the the GameCube kiosk video both tonight. So I'm going to work on editing that one tomorrow, and so you guys will see that tomorrow as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do not forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and thank you guys so much for subscribing, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.